appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Tell these niggas. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Tell these niggas. I up here. We keep it 100. We keep it one up here. 100 up here. She said it's ARPRB or the battles, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Two Eyes. Make sure y'all subscribe to my guy, uh, Two Eyes. You feel me? Midwest, the new Midwest. Well, he ain't the new Midwest. He Midwest in general now because he's been around a little minute. But with that being said, born legacy Northwest. Yes, this was one of the ones. Talk about it. It was fire. I'm talking about Muni Fuego, bro. Fuego. Everybody came with it. It was one person that kind of dropped the ball in one round, and we're gonna get to it. Two, but man. outside of that, when when you go into when you go into an event. It's been a long. It's been a long time since I went to an event and I seen every artist hungry and trying to prove something because they needed this event to. They needed to flourish in this event so they can be on a summer madness possibly, so they can be on a known possibly, so they had something to fight for. Morgan, what's your take so far before we even get to the individuals? Uh, I agree. Uh, usually, there's always you know you, you, when you when you watch these battles, there's always Somebody that doesn't care. Somebody that just wants to get through their shit to get out of there. Every single battler was battling like this might be their last battle ever. Facts. Facts. It was, yeah, it was it was an amazing. It was probably one of the one of the best events I've ever been to. Yeah, yeah. And I want to second that. You feel me? I just had a, I just had a, um, I just was at the, we both were just at the local event. Shout out to Sky Tier, Rome, Demo, and them. You feel me? Mm -hmm. um, Lindsay, everybody that put that together, which was super crazy as well. But to have a back to back event right, major right, that's right. fire, just mm. about every battle, incredible, incredible. But I got some gifts. I'm bearing gifts today, y'all. Because I know I, I need everybody to hit that like button, whether you're on Facebook, because I'm on Facebook, I'm on uh, I'm on YouTube, and I'm on Twitch. So wherever you are, hit the like button. If you're on Twitch, show your boy some love on Twitch. Wherever you are, show us some love, because I bear some goodies. Because, you know, it was a private event, not too many people, but hey, we, got, we got a little, we got some sneak peeks. We got some sneak peeks for y'all tonight, because these battlers, I, hey, I want, this is for promotional use only. So I'm only showing little clips that I'm about to show for you to actually motivate yourself to go out and get that app so you can support these battlers and watch their battles, period. You feel me? We ain't bootlegging these. We showing love. We showing love. So URL, holla at your guala. Holla at your guala. And I want to say this too before I even get into it. So I met, uh, so I've I, 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 um, I, 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 I've known KG for a little minute. You feel me? I've chopped it up with him cool guy i want to say thank him i want to thank him for getting this getting this whole event out to the northwest and i want to hey shout out to p i know a lot of people like p why are you saying p bro i chopped it up with p for a little minute this dude is actually very intelligent he's actually a pretty cool guy he ain't this little he ain't this asshole whatever that a lot of people been telling me he seemed cool but that's just to me though you feel me that's just to me i can't speak on his other relationships but shout out to p and, uh, KG, what you like? The, 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 uh, the, the little thing that him and Deuce had. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have got that on cam. I oh, wish I would have got that on cam, but no. You got to hey, yeah. get the app. You got to get the app because there's some, yeah. there's some viral moments in some of these battles and a few battles. Right. But the very first battle that I actually want to talk about. Hold on, yeah. hold on, B.A., hold on, B.A. Okay, okay. My okay. bad. The, speaking about P and KG, I've I seen the clip that you put out, the uh, interview with KG and P. Yeah. And K P was like, man, anything West Coast is this guy. So is, so is KG the West Coast P? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is the West Coast P. He, he he's the one that originally told me um, a few years back they had a road to traffic, which was a PG event where a lot of West Coast battle rappers were on it fighting for PG spots before this crucible thing happened. And um, 
I talked to KG right after that uh, that event, and he just kept saying, "Damn, I didn't know that. I didn't know that it was. I didn't know that the crowd like it's a crowd for battle rap up here. I didn't even know y'all had battle rappers like that." And he said, "I'm gonna bring it back." And he's he was a man of he, he's a man of his word because they were supposed to have Survivor Series up here, but COVID happened, situational. So they ended up bringing this up here, and a lot of people are not talking about it, but they're gonna talk about it after the night because we got some. Oh. <laughs> don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, y'all. But with that being said, man, the very first battle up um, was uh, royalty versus Deuce. This was one of them ones. This is how you start. This is how you start a battle. And before we even start talking about the battle, um, I got something for y'all that I want to run. And here we go. Here go a little clip. I'm like, I'm gonna put y'all in the game. I'm gonna get y'all in the game real quick. Hold up, let's go. Yes, sir. I never needed to talk to an operator in Spanish. But I'm gonna press dudes. You better be Michael Jordan from the mid range of '96 today, nigga. The best dudes. I'm not gonna get impressed. No, 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 no. I'm not here to impress. Real nigga shit is a universal language, and I speak it fluent. Blicky shoot a pistol. I have you crying, real tears, begging for your life. Fuck, we ain't listen to it. Fuck, the bitch died so. Whitney Houston, boy. Oh. Ah. Bro, that just give me chills again. Ah. <laughs> Talking. Okay. <laughs> Yo. And the thing that's crazy. So the Spanish operator bar. <laughs> Yo, that dude. was light. That was the light. Those are light bars compared to the rest of the shit. The, ah, I want to say the eight twenty four okay. Kobe. That's all I can get. I ain't saying hey, no more. <laughs> hey, that one was fire. <laughs> My nigga did eight before he was twenty four. Yeah, like that. that shit was fire. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. My nigga did eight before he was twenty four. Get talking about man. That's it, yeah. Hey, with that being said, um. Tell me, what were your thoughts on this battle? Uh, who did you have winning, Morgan? You know, before I had, you know, um, when we did the predictions, I was, you know, because I like Deuce. Deuce is like one of my uh, favorites, you know. I, I, I still have Deuce edging it, but royalty surprised me. Yeah. The bars that he came, and then was it the third round when he was talking about his mom? Yeah, yeah. That 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 kind of was just like oh like that's what got the crowd like when he was like oh I saw you push so and so in this battle he's like bitch ass nigga my mom used to get abused or I used to watch my mom get beat and then it just went from there and then he had that bar the the karma bar about his stepdad how his stepdad is doing life or something he didn't do and I was just, <laughs> and then it just I think it was talking, man. yeah it was I mean you know. Um, I became a, a, a fan of royalty. I, I still might kind of give it to Deuce because yeah. Deuce Deuce was just he was talking. Yes, yes. Deuce is Deuce is super lyrical. I like Deuce, like the way he he projects and his energy. Yeah, they, yeah. but it, yeah. It, I wouldn't. But I wouldn't be mad though if anybody said royalty won. I'm bro. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go opposite. I think royalty got it two one. Okay. Yeah, I like got I said. Royalty. I feel like the first round, the first round was debatable. I edged it to royalty. The second round was debatable. I edged that to royalty. But that third round from Deuce, though, but royalty had a, a dope third round too. Right, right. They boost that third because I liked I liked what he was saying when he was talking to Pete. Deuce, I hope you get booked again. I hope you get booked again because Deuce is talking. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ro was like, <laughs> Ro was like, well, this ain't going to get you booked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, what did he say? Yeah. What was that rebuttal, that uh, R RBE rebuttal? Oh, uh, real he's like, oh yeah, he said, he said you could be on RBE because you got real bitch energy. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I ain't gonna give we gonna give all the bars up, but y'all gotta see this battle. Hey, is, is, is royalty time. is royalty the uh the crip nigga that battles yeah, on the he's, right? He's, all, he's yeah, always like yeah. he's always like nigga, yeah. this is crip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fire. yeah. yeah he's this fire. is the best version of him, smoke. And this the crazy the thing, version. 
he even had some bars saying that uh, most of his uh, battles ain't even over 2K, and he ain't have 10 battles in, and he's already on a born legacy. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's fire. Yeah, yeah he, he, was, was a, he was a crucible fill-in. He wasn't even supposed to be on the crucible. Right. He ended that's up right. That's right, yeah. Making it to the next round, and 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 now he's on a born legacy. And yeah, these um, Scotty asked a question about was is this gonna drop on the uh, app? Yes. Yeah. These battles. I hope that um, I'm just hoping that they drop all these battles and that they don't vote any of these because um, all of them had uh, all of them had moments. All of them had moments right. at like that. Fire moments. Normal moments. But yeah, smoke. That's what it man. Hey, I don't know. I, I I keep telling niggas about Deuce. You ever heard of Deuce? Smoke? Yeah, I heard of Deuce. Yeah. He's fire. <laughs> he was, yeah, he was fire. Man. Hey, it, it, it was good just to see him in the building. It was yeah. good to see him in the building. Like, to see, like, I need to see this one, B.A. Hey, man. Hey, man. You know, you know, you know, you know, my connects. You know, my connections. My connections be putting me on everything. So, hey. We gonna win. Yeah. Hey, out of respects to the URL, out of respects. Yeah, 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 man. Respect, respect, respect. Thanks, Harlem. You still there, Fresh? Ah, uh, Fronto. Yeah, yeah, he probably rolled yeah, out. Yeah, he probably cutting up a Fronto right now. Thanks. Uh, next up, we have. Dre Vicious versus Saint Mike. <laughs> this, this was, yeah. Well, what were you about to say, Morgan? I was gonna say this was this was uh this also could have been one of them ones. <laughs> Facts of just straight bars. Yeah. Dre Vicious man. No. What was that? I said, where 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 is Dre Vicious band? Oh, uh, I think it was mostly like every time Drake gets a, I feel like every time he gets a, a play or something like that, somebody either can't backs come out. or backs out or no shows yeah. or something like that. Because yeah. I remember his last good battle he had was versus uh, Fettuccini. Yeah. Mm, okay. And, and that was like, I feel like that was a couple years ago. Yeah, that was a, that was a while ago in general. Yeah. But then also too, you know, he just had a kid and like all this yeah. other oh, stuff. So wife. He, yeah, like so he's girl. been kind of on the side. Yeah. But shit, without further ado, Dre Vicious versus St. Mike. Here goes another good of y'all. St. Mike, that nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, hey, St. Mike, nice. Saint Mike, nice. We going to see what he's talking about on this clip, though. Let's go. Don't leave him dead. He on white support. You get a visit from a midget for the right support. In other words, to tell your ass, like your life is short. See, I could have had, I could have had Mike lined up by his mama's sister. All I gotta do to catch Saint, go around. This shit designer, nigga. I done locked myself in the trap. Rock so much off white, they should sponsor niggas. Got lying for to the point, wife don't even ask me why I sell. Just say she's proud of niggas. My boy, you easy to lose. I'm just here to make sure that the pain is. Ain't fit. At least this nigga on the West Coast. I doctor Dre niggas. They say between you and I, ain't much of an age difference. I guess real fake niggas on real nigga time make an age difference. Age victim in the face looking lame nigga with the same simple dress, change different. Ain't thinking no other reason you up here looking like you're 48, nigga. <laughs> 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 Don't brag about what it's like really like, because you know they won't accept you for your bars when you caged in them. <laughs> Who you caged in? <laughs> You over here looking forty eight. Yeah, you cut them all. Yeah, yeah. Hey, keep going. Hey, hey, yeah, I, hey keep going. Hey, Why you I, cut I them all? Yeah, time, yeah. Nigga. Hey, this is gonna. Oh, hey, this man. is what's gonna make me about to the cook. I can now. already know. I right, listen. I just talked <laughs> about the cadence and the build up. He was a. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yo. Y'all hear this? Oh. I got Smoke Kings was not in the building at this private event, and my nigga is going crazy because he like I gotta hear more of this shit. Smack, Beasley, KG, P, Chico, all of y'all. I need y'all to drop this. I need y'all to drop all of these battles. It was fire. Oh man, <laughs> I, I feel I feel like they might. I feel like this is the first Northwest event that they actually like. You know, it wasn't like a PG event, so I feel like you know it's going to be one of those sections on the on the app, one legacy section where they drop all of them. 
That's a fact. That's a that, that that's a fact. Um, what what was your? Uh, how did you call this battle, Morgan? Man, this was whoa. It's another tough one. Yeah, because it literally they they both all three rounds came with it. There was no there were, with these three their their three rounds. There was no uh, this round was kind of uh, every round between these two was fire. Um, Vicious had a line that was like. Y'all ever seen a uh, saint with holes in them? Holy Christ. And the crowd went nuts. <laughs> the crowd yeah. went nuts. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. That's fire. Uh, saint, That's was, fire. Saint, saint, uh, saint had a lot of uh, shit, too. Uh, I, I can't really remember, but that's not because it wasn't fire. He just had so much fire shit. Yeah. The way he raps. But when he was, he was clowning... Dre about looking 48 years old or something like that. How you look, <laughs> how you look 48 in the face. We're around the same age, right? <laughs> right. So, yeah, um, I think if I really wanted to do it, I, I, I'm going to give it to Dre Vicious 2-1. Yeah. Dre yeah. Vicious had energy all three rounds and was just coming with it, coming with it. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to Dre Vicious. Definitely, definitely. I I agree. I got uh, I got Dre with the first – uh, edge in the first, I got um, St. Mike edge in the second, and the third, I got Dre. I got Dre edge in the third. This right here, like, it's it's crazy how these battles, a lot of these battles are debatable because this is how much fire and work each person put in. And like I said from the beginning of this, when you have artists come out and they're act they have something to actually battle for and fight for, it, it outside of a check they trying to get to that next check and they right. try to get them that, they trying to get on that known caffeine stage and that's incredible the, 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 you can't you can't afford to be lackluster when you have something to fight for and that's what each artist did and both of these guys shout out to dre vicious shout out to saint mike both of these guys are uh, actually cool ass people as well if y'all ain't seen my interviews by the way um make sure y'all y'all on my channel now if y'all go to my YouTube channel, because I'm streaming on three different platforms right now, but if you go to my YouTube channel, Get Your Bars Up Media, y'all check out all the fire interviews and actually get the reactions actually from the battle rapper's perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smoke, what you thinking? What you thinking, Smoke? I see you over there plotting. Yeah, man. I'm trying to think of how I can, you know what I mean? <laughs> how that P and Smack for, for one of them, you know what I mean? One of them good old fashioned email things, you feel me? <laughs> so I can watch these battles, man. They tripping, yeah. man. Hey, well. I need mean? the inside access, man. P, holler at me, man. Hey, hey. Facts. He was saying he was saying some real shit. I can't talk about on camera, but he was saying some real <laughs> shit off camera. Um, with that being said, um, if you are uh, for everybody out there watching, uh, please share, please share, share, share. Hit that like button. Um, I know I'm probably one of the I'm probably the only motherfucker actually talking about this event and recapping it. So make sure all your people see this because I know a lot of people were um, low key tied to other events that happened because this was a battle rap weekend that was fucking crazy. Shout out to Bullpen. Shout out to RBE. But this event was this event was fucking crazy. But anyways, mm -hmm. with that being said, we have next up Young Grizz versus Mr. Biscuit. This was my battle of the night, bro. This was my battle of the night. This surprised me. <laughs> now, if, I had, was, if I had to pick a winner based off the names, I'm going with this old school today. Mr. Biscuit. Yeah, old school Mr. Biscuit been around for years, but now he's just not getting his look. Okay, man. Grind time days, all of oh that. Oh, my goodness. Grind time, yeah. Yeah. I used and, to watch Grind Time, so yeah. Yeah, he been he been around for he been around for a little minute. And um he's about to be oh my goodness. <laughs> it's, I wish I could have I wish this clip would do him even more justice. But like I, I said, let's try not to do the whole. I wouldn't be surprised if this battle drops first. It needs to drop. It yeah. needs to drop. This was crazy. It was like that, oh, bro. Yeah. It, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's a viral moment, and all the only word that I got hey. for the day. 
If if y'all ain't watch, y'all better go watch my interviews. I keep telling y'all, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Hey, I would have been happy with just showing up to an event and watching this battle. How good it was! I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I'm trying uh, to tell okay. you, bro. Yo, yeah, both, right. of these, both of these niggas was not playing. Grizz came in there and he was not playing, especially the third. Let me let me play this clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this, this is yeah. this is fucking crazy. This was fucking crazy. Let's go. And I had to break the cereal back. The machine made this biscuit. I made my biscuit from scratch. You know? <laughs> me jupiter oh my, oh my goodness <laughs> bro the word hold bro. up though hold up though that's <laughs> scratching the cereal making the biscuits yeah. from scratch oh my goodness yeah. hold up and, and, and hold that was, up that was grizz's first, oh. first round when grizz yeah. first came out Oh my god, I wanted to grab him through the screen. Oh <laughs> my god. That shit was nuts. Ah, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all think I'm bullshit. Okay. I'm trying to gas. I ain't gassing. I ain't gassing at all. And this was my I had heard of Mr. Biscuit before, but I never watched one of his battles. So when Young Grizz went, I was like, oh, it's over for Mr. Biscuit. But when Mr. Biscuit went. He Crazy. fucking shut that shit down. Like it was, I was like, "Who is this guy?" Yeah, Mr. Biscuit is fire. He, bro, he was fire. Like literally, he had to keep stopping because the crowd was going nuts. Yeah. Every bar he had, every he should be, he should be a part of EFB location. Exactly, exactly. Because he, yeah. he, he really, like, yeah. Like you, do you know? You know when like. I want to use this. I'm going to use, I'm fucking, I'm going to go off and let me use this as a, as an example. Uh, for those of you, if you've watched, um, do you remember Av and Rum Nitty? Do y'all remember yeah. that battle? Yeah. 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 So the very first round, Av and Rum Nitty, Av went first, right? Av fucking went in. Like he was so high up in the clouds with his material. Niggas was like, Rum, I don't know if you can come back. I don't know if you can do that. That's how Grizz was. Like, like, yeah. I don't know, like, like Mr. Biscuit, you gotta, you got an uphill climb, sir. Mr. Biscuit met that motherfucker up there. He might have just exceeded. Yeah, he might have. He might have yeah. just met that motherfucker. That's how I <laughs> might have. Yo, with that being said, how did you call this, Morgan? Oh, this is a hard one. Because after, after Biscuit went and did his shit, then that's when uh, Grizz had that uh, damn near whole round that he rebuttaled about his boots. <laughs> but that was part yeah. of the fight. Like, he had the, what was the line? He was like, I call your, your shoes is like uh, Bill Cosby because you never laced them bitches because his shoes was unlaced. And the crowd oh. went crazy. You got out free. The like, you got out free crazy. like Bill Cosby because you because you, because you, yeah, because you didn't lace them bitches or something like that. And it's, you look at his shoes and his shoes was unlaced. Oh, this is crazy. It was crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, because the bitches were never laced. <laughs> Bro, that shit was like an earthquake. Oh, no. that, that shit was like an earthquake that hit the building. The building just oh, was shaking. God. But, <laughs> man, this, this I really feel like I can't, I, I'm going to have to say I can't call it. That's, because no. it was that, it was, they were both, they were, mm. if I really want to, I might have to just say I'll give it to Mr. Biscuit 2 1. Bro, I can't call this. I can't call this at all. This mm. is this is a two one either way. Yeah, uh, biscuit uh. got the first, uh, edge the first, and I got uh I got Grizz edging the third. Then the second is where it comes down to. The second is what it comes down to, and it's like when you got two people. This is one of those battles where you watch you you watch it today. You got one person, and if you watch this shit like a year from now, two years from now, you might have another person. Right, right, right. Like this was a classic battle. This was classic. I'm gonna say classic. And this wasn't just no in the building type. Oh, I'm on emotion. No, the lyrical content mixed with the stage presence and and and, and the performance 
was at an all time high for me. This is like this is the this is the battle of the the whole event. No disrespect right. to Bay and Danny because they came in second place to me. Right, but right, right. I agree. This this battle had no defects at all. No defects. Fronto, you still there? And you know it. Hey, what did you uh, you catch? Did you catch that last clip? I sure did, and um, I need to start seeing more of these names to start replacing what's been there. I need new energy. I need new metaphors, new bars, new charisma, new personalities. Mm -hmm. And if we got acts that go on like that, as far as like um, with Biscuit and Grizz, I mean, we need that type of energy to let them know that it's okay to let other yeah. people in the game. Know what I mean? Yeah. Just because niggas is new and you want to turn your back and you think they ain't got no bars, open your ears up. These niggas is nice and they coming up and they coming to make a statement. So we need more and more of these performances and hey, whether you got to get the app or we got to go get the bootleg, but you know, we going to make it. <laughs> I don't, we don't, hey, we don't condone bootlegs over here. We don't condone bootlegs. <laughs> we don't condone it. We don't condone it. <laughs> we don't condone it. We purchase everything. It happens. it happens, though. Yeah, it does happen. We don't happen. condone it. Does it. it does happen. And, uh, <laughs> I'm no saint. I'm bars. I'm, I'm no saint. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, let me get up out of here so I can catch the next clip, man. I'm about to go in here and lay down, but I want to catch the next clip, so don't play the next clip for like 15 seconds, okay? Okay, all right, all right, bro. All right man. <laughs> Salute to y'all, man. Salute oh, to y'all, man. Hey, smoke royalty, man. Come smoke. Oh, my God. Man, we on the road to a thousand, man. We is at 389, you feel me? Thanks. Come thanks. smoke with me, you feel me? Thanks. King. Salute, bro. Salute. Hey, salute to uh, yo two times, Mr. Word Sport himself. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Word Sport Battlegrounds, um, the number one virtual battle league in the world. And when I say in the world, I that's like legit. It's, it's literally. So make sure y'all go support them. But uh, overall, man, I'm trying to hold off for a quick second. Um, but yeah, this event, this whole event, was was special and that's why i have clips for y'all every time we have a local event that's private if i can squeeze out a few clips for y'all i'm definitely gonna recap show y'all little clips i wish i could show y'all the battle but no um shit this is one of those things where we're dealing with bigger entities and uh, i have respect for url just like i got respect for rbe kotd and uh those are the battles that y'all get to actually see them on pay-per-view but these goodies though these goodies, especially when they're in the Northwest, fuck with me. That's all I can say is fuck with me. As they should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, shout right. out to Jimmy. Shout out to Jimmy. Jimmy said he almost woke up his whole crib saying, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I know how it goes, bro. I know how it goes. Salute GX2. GX is an up-and-coming uh, battle rapper coming up in the game. But with that being said, next up we have Steams versus Tink the Demon. That's this my guy. Steams is my fucking guy, yo. That's yo. my Blue Vegeta. What's good? Steams. <laughs> you already know. Hey, shout out to We Go Hard. Shout out to She Go Hard. Because both of them, both of them are up in uh, our uh, Steams' leagues. But Steams did his thing and Tink did his thing. But hey, we got, we about to show y'all that now, which I'm getting all of these motherfuckers mixed up. Hold up, hold up. That's the only thing about fucking stream yard sometimes when you don't got your shit together. <laughs> so I'm doing that out on the wind. Label them, nigga. Label them. I did I definitely did not label them. I didn't label them. <laughs> like, motherfuckers there. I was so excited. I'm like, man, the world about to see this shit right now. Let's go. Ah let's get it. Fall asleep, <laughs> and bitches. <laughs> 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 I need this talk. 
You come up with a nigga that can make your skin crawl to the point you see Jesus walk. I went from sitting in that cell to back in the gutter. Listen, I went from sitting in that cell to back in the gutter. Out of respect, clown, I said everything from your neck down back to your mother. And if she wondering. He got to, he got to, you know, he be talking that demon talk. He be talking, Tink be really talking that demon talk. Right, right. <laughs> every, oh. every, every ball from Tink is like a horror movie or some shit. That's it a is. fact. That's a fact. And, really and, and the ones that land, the visuals, you can, uh, you can like picture it and it makes you just be like, whoa, this nigga. Uh. I got, I got, I be having that face when I be uh, hearing Tink sometimes say some of that crazy shit. But it'd be fire. It's crazy. That's not be fire. But Morgan, how did you call this back? <clears throat> so last week I called it Steams 2 1. Because I I just, you know, I just wasn't really feeling Tink ever. But I guess it was because I needed to see Tink in person. Yeah. And yeah. to see Tink in person changed my whole perspective on this dude. Yeah. His shit. Like when he said make your skin crawl, yo, the shit he was saying made my skin crawl. Like, yo, this is... <laughs> like when he said I'll send everything from your neck down to your mother, I was just like, yo, this there's something wrong with him. Yeah. But he but, but I'm you know, I like Steams. I've always liked Steams, you know. It was good to see him in person, but I'm gonna have to change my shit and give it two one tank. Tink, okay. Tink came all three rounds. There was no stumbles, no fumbles, no nothing. Like he was really like about his shit. And the the demon shit that he was talking about actually was fire. Like it wasn't like yeah. the same old boring shit. Like he was really like trying. Yeah. And it's crazy because they're like best friends. So like him bringing yeah. up the fact that he fell asleep drunk, pissing on himself. Like yeah, I yeah, that, was, that, was, <laughs> that, that was a good battle, man. I like that battle, so I'm gonna give it to Tink two one. Thanks. Uh, I definitely want to see this battle. Yeah, it was a good battle. Yeah, Steams, uh, Steams brought it. Tink brought it. Uh, if I had to give it to somebody, I would give it two one. Tink uh, off of first watching the building, I felt like Steams got the first. He edged the first, and then I felt like Tink edged the second and edged the third. Right. You know, and I feel like um, the difference in the difference in this battle was uh, the 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 one the, the one stumble, and I believe it was in the third round. If I'm not, oh mistaken. yeah, that's right, yeah. The one stumble. If he would have got through that cleanly, we might be talking different. But this you. is, but to see what's impressive is seeing a hungry tank and, and a hungry steams. I know the world really doesn't get to see that much because, you know, they don't – well, Tink hasn't been battling too often. Steams, he hasn't really been battling too often either. Right, right, but right. to see them out in person and to see them actually as homeboys go try to kill each other in that ring, I can't I, I can't knock it, man. That, that, hey, that dark energy almost took over me. It almost took over me. That's how fire that battle was. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, definitely. Yeah, that'll make you want to worship the devil real quick. Listen to the Tink. I, I, I ain't say all of that, but uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it'll make you want to worship the devil. Speaking for myself. Everybody, Morgan is speaking for himself. That's what yeah. he, said. he said. Like you said. Uh, once again, uh, shout out to everybody. We're streaming on three different platforms. Shout out to my Facebook family my Twitch family and my YouTube family. If you are watching this, uh, I appreciate you for being here as always. Without y'all, I wouldn't, my channel wouldn't be where it is. And uh, please share, please share the hell out of this so everybody could see and uh, see uh, and actually highlight this, uh, this particular event because this particular event was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy. Um, with that being said, Oops versus Jack Boy Maine. <sighs> Man, ooh, we talk oh. about a style clash. You talking about me feeling like an asshole for what I said last week? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you too. Yo, I feel, Yo. I feel like, yeah, it's like, <sighs> yeah. I was. Totally I know y'all not about to sit here and tell me oh. that Jack Boy lost the oops. 
No, that's what I'm saying. Last week, we, I was we saying that Oops We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet because we ain't oh, yeah. played. Oh, yeah. Yet. yeah. That's right. But, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, shout out to Oops. Shout out to Jack Boy Maine. Like I said prior, um, check out my check out my interviews, y'all, if y'all really want to know from the battle rap perspective uh, how everybody did, how everybody felt after the battle. I interviewed everybody just about – on the card so go go to my get your bars up media page on youtube and uh check out the interviews um man this was a fire event but with that being said we gonna get to this next goodie we gonna get to this next goodie and this next goodie was like the force would occur in that phone booth until it wasn't fall. Mm. So you get pistol with it till it stitches, bandages, and all. And you know what else Bruce got that was also in the mitigated? What? Balls. I'm finna fall. <laughs> <laughs> KG book me. He knew what to do when to stop him. Mm. All he needed was gauze. Man. Talk. And that's Both the of thing. these gentlemen were talking. And that's the thing, man. man. If oh man, <laughs> this this could have been one of those ones if something didn't happen. Hey, hey, oh, man. hey. Facts, facts. This battle oh. was on its way to being. Classic, but something happened within the battle. I've I never. Oh man! Talk, hey, talk your ish, Morgan. It's on you. Tell us how you feel, who you got winning, etc. Your thoughts. So I, I originally, before it started, I was having uh, oops two one. I was like, oh, it's gonna be, you know, I was, I, I feel like an asshole because I had, uh, I, I had, um, was uh, Jack Boy uh, not doing too good, but. You know, it started out good. You know, they both was Jack Boy's energy is crazy. I'm just gonna say that. Just being in person and seeing Jack Boy, like, like he, like each round, he had the crowd going nuts. Like no stumbles, nothing. Like he was, it was like old. It was like old Jack Boy. Like yeah, hungry, hungry Jack Boy. Um, My nigga you know, uh, Oops came out, did his thing. He was, he had the uh, Northwest bars, the Prefontaine bars, yeah. Oregon, what, like he. But oh, then, yeah. Oh, got, yeah. But then Jack Boy came and just, you know, and then well, then you know it was hot in there. It was super hot, but you know, me and Boom had spotted something. I, I'm gonna maybe y'all can wait till the battles hit, but somebody was already Northwest take over tomorrow. I already yeah. know somebody gonna talk about that. Shit. Yeah, somebody was already uh, choking before the choke. <laughs> and then and then when that time came shout out to my brother boomer man boomer was like <laughs> he was like oh it's hot in here because he when he choked he choked for a long time so they had to stop that's the only thing you know like a lot of people weren't feeling it i'm gonna say it. a lot of people you know were kind of frustrated you know i know what happens but i think a boomer was like man it ain't even hot in here cuz like, <laughs> 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 oh, me and Boom Boomer had me crying the whole time, but yeah, that's it's it sucks that it came to that point though because they had to stop the battle, man. And you yeah. know, I that's that's the first time I ever got to experience what they do off a of camera when stuff like that happens. Yeah, and it's it's sad to say because I like I you know. I got family in St. Louis, so I like I like I've always liked Oops. I like what he does outside of battle rap, but you know he just he just wasn't ready. He wasn't ready, and you could tell he wasn't ready because he had to keep you know there was something he had to keep doing. I don't want to bust that part out yet because that's not I can't say that. Maybe you'll see it in the you know in the battle, but <sighs> Man. all all in all, I give I'm I'm in, people can kill me for it, but I'm gonna give it Jack Boy three zero. Oh, he got him 30. It was a 30, and I don't ever give no 30s out. But Jack, oh. Jack, I think Jack Boy 30 him. 
Nah, he ain't pass out. He ain't pass out GX. And um, Oops always talking like he a killer though. That's the thing. But he Oops is though. Like, Oops is a killer though. If he if this killer. choke if this choke wouldn't have happened, bro, it would have been a classic. A classic battle. I feel like it would have been a classic, but like it was one of them ones where they had to stop camera and battle. Yeah. Yeah. How many yeah. body bags Oops got? He, you say he a killer, man. How many body yeah, bags? It ain't, it ain't. To me, I say he a killer because of how direct he is when he's talking to his opponent. When he's talking to his opponent, he's not one of these random uh, uh, set up bar, set up bar, punch, set up bar, like he talks directly to you. He right. doesn't use generic bar. Oops, writes. He takes the time and actually writes. And I don't, I'm not making any excuses for anybody, but me, like Morgan had it at 30. Me, it was a 1-1 one, one going into the into the third. Like, it, that's how close this battle was to me. The first two rounds were extremely close. I gave Jack the first, edged Jack the first. I edged Oops the second because Oops got his bag bag to me in the second. And then, hey, you know what? I could agree with that. I could agree with that. In the, in the third round, Oops – was about to oops was on his way to getting it giving us a classic third but stuff happens and i can't really talk about it because i want the battle to actually uh drop or i know tomorrow when we get on northwest takeover we're gonna have more more people give their input that were in the building because there's a right. lot more people that were in the building that's gonna be on tomorrow right but they're gonna give their input about it so make sure y'all tune in tomorrow make sure y'all tune in tomorrow on northwest takeover because we're gonna really we're gonna dissect it but I gave it two one Jack, two one Jack, and I like Oops, man. He even, he even came in when they were setting up before anybody was in there. He came in, he introduced himself to all of us, like he spoke, you know. And like I knew when Oops got in there, I was expecting a fucking fire third round, like always. He always has crazy third rounds where he does it storytelling and all that. But hey, Jack Boy was hey when Jack Boy did the whole. Uh, about him pressing charges about the car being stole, but then babe, oops came back with a rebuttal, a fire rebuttal, yeah, about, save, about saving another jack boy or something like that. Yeah, yeah. When I got, yeah, when I got robbed, and he said, I, I'm lucky, you lucky I'm in front of you right now, or something. He said, Yeah, saving another jack, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, like, yeah. So, when like, does he ever rebuttal, he don't ever rebuttal right. for like that. It made him, it made him be like, What, nigga? like you, you that fire right now, I right. Yeah. And it's crazy because I never I never heard about that. So, you know, I didn't hear about him getting carjacked like that. So I mean, you know, it was just every time, yeah. I just I just like that kind of Jack Boy. And that's what made me a fan of for, like when I ever first heard of him. But then he started to go downhill with the whole John John thing. And but he he really was on his shit. He really was like Bro, that, it that, was that, a good battle. That Vicky, that Vicky Vicky. Oh, that, that, that the first that, round when that. he did the turnaround, and he slid and, and he styled on it. Yeah, and it's crazy because you know a lot of those people in the crowd had never heard of him or never been around him. So like he yeah. had people that obviously had never been to battles that were going nuts. Yeah, when he was doing that, Ficky. Yeah, I, yeah, bro. That's just my nigga. My nigga was styling though. He was styling, and this we were one. We were like damn near a half a round away from this being a classic because right. Jack's Jack boy's third round. When y'all hear it, y'all are about to see another side of Jack. Right. Right. Another, right. Like he does, he don't rap like this. He did something different. And this is the first time that I ever seen Jack um, get into detail. Uh, well, use angles all three round. He had a different angle. Right, right. He did crazy in all three rounds. Each angle hit like it really hit. Fuck the gas because when you the different the Northwest energy, what a lot of people don't know about the Northwest is that we are probably one of the most non biased crowds in all of America. And I've been that to is battle, facts, bro. That's been, so I, facts. I've been to battle rap events all across the country, each coast. You feel me? And yeah, you know, usually you people are biased. They wanna you would think that we would be biased because somebody's just on the west or they're northwest. Nah, we show love to everybody if it's fire. If it's not, we ain't gonna say shit. So right. this was a dope battle. This was a yep. dope battle. And we don't give a fuck where you're from as long as you fucking yeah. do bring your thing. Just and those bring two heat. those two ain't even for where they're from, they're not even close to the West Coast. And facts, bro. And, yeah. Like, man, I'm going to say this again. 
Make sure y'all go check out those interviews on this Get Your Bars Up channel on, on the uh, for everybody that's uh, not on YouTube, on Twitch, and on Facebook, and for the people that are on YouTube. Check out those interviews, man. Check out the interviews from the battlers. Uh, I was watching them as they was coming yeah. in last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Niggas don't know I be grinding like a motherfucker. This shit ain't easy. They was coming in. I was up late. They was coming in back to back to back. I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Niggas was like, niggas was like, B, you got a, you got an interview with KG and P? Are you compromised? I'm like, nigga, get the fuck out of here, man. Right, These right. Interviews, bro. <laughs> right. But, um, yeah, solid battle. We're going to talk. We're going to get a little bit more into the specifics tomorrow. But we are now officially at the main event where everybody really came for. Danny Myers versus oh, Jaden Knight. We, we, we should let them know about uh, Lou Castro and Ruggs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So originally it was supposed to be Fonz. It was supposed to be Fonz versus B-Magic. But uh, something happened where Fonz couldn't make the battle, even though I seen Fonz. And Fonz is the homie. He's been on my platform uh, a couple of times. He was at the Max Out 2 event. <laughs> he, he was supposed to be there, but he was at Max Out 2. And, I, and yeah, I ain't tripping on that. It is what it is. But right. then drugs versus uh, Luke Castro was supposed to happen. Shout out to Luke Castro because he made it. He still drugs. showed up. Yeah, he still yeah, he showed up. Still showed up. He was energetic, real cool, nice guy, uh, uh, dope individual. Yeah, um, he was. But uh, I believe that that battle couldn't happen because if I'm not mistaken, people were telling me that Drugs just had a baby, yep, a baby. newborn yep. or whatnot. So congratulations, Drugs. Uh, hopefully Thanks. we get you out here to the Northwest and you can see the energy that the Northwest brings. But yeah, we we, we only had six battles opposed to seven. Like we I, originally still, I still would have gave that to Luke Castro, though. I like Luke Castro. He's fire. Facts. Facts. I would say that too. <laughs> yeah, he was a security. He was security for NWX at Max Out too. Yeah, you know, a lot of people like a lot of people look at the Northwest and they're like, man, ain't gonna have no major events. But hey, I tell you one thing. Um, we were talking behind the scenes, and it's going to be some big events coming up within the next year, year and a half in the Northwest for URL. Like big Sex. events. Not Sex. not we're not talking about Born Legacy and shouts out to Born Legacy because that's a big event, period, because it's always gonna be names on that. But we're talking about like huge events. You feel me? <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot what KG was saying, but I'm not even gonna say it. But he was yeah, saying I can't I, I know up. I know what he said. You feel me? I know both of the events he mentioned, but I can't say the names right now because you know, you know, we keep that shit under wraps. Right. But I know the when these events go on, it's always fire names that are on these kind of cards. And everybody and their mama gonna be flying out here trying to get right. to it. It's period. gonna be yeah, yes, yes. It's gonna they're gonna have to get a bigger place. Yeah, definitely. It's going. This is this is for this is going to be for a thousand people. It's gonna to have to come for this event, bro. <laughs> right. They gonna need a event. I mean, a, a venue that's gonna hold at least a thousand people for with the, with the stage. Week. Yeah, with the stage and all of that. And I can't wait because guess what? The Northwest is in the motherfucking backyard, nigga. This is my region. Shouts out to all you motherfuckers that blog and everything. I rock with y'all. Y'all know we cordial, but this is the Northwest. This is my home. Right. Hey, hey, make sure when you get here, you take off your shoes because when I'm in yo, when I'm in your area, I'm going to take off my shoes and I'm going to show nothing but respect to y'all. So right. I'll let you brother. But anyways, with that being said, we doing all of this shit talking and I got one more last clip for uh for this Danny Myers versus Jay the Night Wing. Which was a fire battle. Let's go. Fuck out of my mistake and exaggerate. Just to offer you the understanding, not addressing the issue, which only exacerbates it. Danny Myers loves the culture so much, speaking on you like you're the dad who raised him. Working so many hours back to back. Picking up shifts he ain't had to take him. Watching y'all excuse him for being so tired, he missed the graduation. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can sit there, moat, cry, be traumatized over, get on a plane, come to Seattle, and go through this nigga mama side door. I speak, I speak, I speak mama side door. Am I a killer? Yes, but I'm still a chef. I made moves off drywall like Predator in the bathroom trying to heal him. In my hood, I display power, great power, straight south. When niggas signed the thighs, couldn't provide a 
animal feast, they ate ours. Oh, when niggas uh, nine to fives couldn't provide, uh, ah, can't provide. <laughs> They eight hours, he, <laughs> and he he kept scheming on that bar afterwards too, because no, he said something else, and he's like, "Yeah." The and then they eight hours, and I was like, "Jesus, where was he?" When at? bigger jobs couldn't provide feasts, they ate out. Mm. Yeah. Yo, how did you call this one? This was a classic. This, <laughs> this, this is classic. yeah. I, I, this was this a classic. Is... Both of them niggas was like, "Come here, come yeah, here." Yeah, exactly. It was a fight. Like it's it's hard, you know, because Jay's, you know. I talked to Jay outside of battle rap, you know. Jay, Jay's, you know, Jay's a cool, you know, Jay's my bro, but I don't know. It's hard. Uh, Danny had a fire uh, bar about a, uh, something about a poly grip. I don't remember what it was, but it was like about teeth and a poly grip. Exactly. I remember. I remember the bar. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But yeah, that was another one of those. Oh shit. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Then I, so when, when Jay went, I was like, okay. I was like, Jay's cooking. And then I expected already. I was like, man, I have a feeling he, Danny's going to come up here and not do what he's been doing. But Danny just came out the gate firing, <laughs> firing. He had the bar. He, he said bar guy like four times after each, after each punch. And I was like, okay, Danny is, Danny is on one. Oh man, it's this. This is another one of the ones where it could go two one either way. Yeah, it's the bad. It's the Jay. Bad. Jay also had a, a bar that shut the vent down. That was a, it. Was a, a uh, uh, no, not that. One. Not all. Oh, not, not that one. Uh, uh, we go. We gonna say we that for tomorrow. About that yeah, yeah, we'll uh, say that tomorrow. Uh, it was a. Uh, um, I can't even think of it. It was one of the little kid movies. Cause you know Jay's super nerd, nerdy with the kids yeah. stuff, but it was a uh, it was a bar about uh, that br- that uh, yeah you know um, yeah he, it, said, it, he was like on nerds and no he said some shit like that only nerds and no assumption he yeah. yeah yeah uh, yeah it was that one little that little kid movie that's like there's seven movies out with the British kids uh, yeah Harry I, Potter yeah my girl she called it Harry Potter Harry Potter <laughs> it was a, <laughs> it was a Harry Potter bar but it was fucking fire. And I and yeah, Jay's Jay's good with that kind of shit. But yeah, it was you know, um, yo, I I, I can't I can't call it. It, it. Like I said, if anyone says two one either way, I can't be mad. See, this is this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, to everybody. Yeah, I know me. I usually I, I usually am pretty good, but usually when I'm watching it from the house, you feel me? I have my pen and my pad, and I'm able to write down bars, assess them. Uh, process them on the spot because I've been doing this shit for years, right? Um, but I didn't have no pen, no pad, no anything. I'm just listening to bars. You feel me? Just like actually being a fan. Of course, having to interview people and shit and and, and do the little clips for everybody, but right. this is uh, very tough. This is one of those ones where you have to actually break the battle down. This is a 2-1 either way, and I'm from the Northwest. Me, of course, I want to say J30. Fuck it. J30. I want to say that mm-hmm. shit, but I'll be right. totally lying. I'll be lying to y'all and I'll be lying to my damn self if I said that. Because J started it off. J took it to that level like he uh, like he mostly does. And then Danny just met him upstairs. Like, shout out to my right. guy, uh, my brethren, Mike Phenom. He says that's very upstairy. Like, they was upstairy. Right, <laughs> right. <no. laughs> Facts. Yeah. This was a. It was a top tier. It was a. It was just. Oh man. Yeah, it, levels, bro. They show levels. Everybody, but everybody on the card, though, bro. Everybody on the card was on point. It would have like literally if uh, Castro and Drugs would have went down, it would have been the most perfect card ever. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Like just just saying perfect as in like not the type of people, but just like how it went. Like there was no, it was you know obviously, obviously besides you know the oops situation, he still cooked too. Yeah. So it's like every battle was how it was expected to be, how it should have been. Bro, if I want to, if I had to, for one to ten, if I had to pick, I'm gonna give this event a nine, bro. I agree. I agree. I, I'm, I'm giving this event a nine, and 
I like I said, I've been I've been blogging, I've been analyzing uh, analysts and battle rap for the past I don't know how many years, for years. You feel me? And I've been to a whole bunch of different type of events, but events like this where you just have a bunch of hungry artists, it's just something about it. And it's some of these artists they they told me what their next moves. Uh, you might see you might see one of these artists on the next gnome, the next summer madness, etc. That's how like that's how yes. important that this was. Like for yes. a lot of people that were on this card, you know, I was thinking too, uh, and they kind of mentioned it. They could, they were kind of joking, but you never know. Two on two, the next two on two event, I could see uh, Oops and um, Jack Boy teaming up because when they were <laughs> when they were when they were getting ready and, and helping with the sound check, they were rapping together as if it was a two on two, and they were just playing around. But it was low key fire, and then Jack Boy was like, "Bro." It would be fire if we did a two on two, and I'm no one else is paying attention. I'm listening, like, yo, see, more this just happens, gave y'all exclusive, low key. He low key gave y'all a good, he gave <laughs> y'all exclusive. Case. That would be fire, bro. Yeah, just just in case, if it ever happens, you heard it here first. <laughs> hey, hey, for real, my guy, more. Hey, Morgan, put y'all on in some game. He right. just definitely put y'all on in some game. I be but, quiet at events, so I just be paying attention. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I, I spoke to Morgan a few times. I didn't even speak to Morgan that much at the event, but then again, it was I'm like right when we was walking in. That was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm running around with my fucking camera, just trying to uh, get all of these fucking <laughs> interviews for the people, uh, just because the event was private. If it wasn't private, I would have took my time casual. If it would have been okay, right. everybody would have seen it, but. I know I had to get work because a lot of people were asking about it. Geechee even reached out, was like, "How, like, how did uh, how, like, like, where's the footage on the Northwest uh, on the uh, Born Legacy Northwest?" And I'm just like, "Shit, damn, I got." That's right, editing. yeah. He, I start it, editing. <laughs> it was crazy because usually events that I go to or even when I'm watching, you know, there's always someone like, "Hey, what's the recap or what's going on?" And there's always something, but. It, it, when they said private, it was private. Like nobody found out really anything until after the event was over. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I'm trying to tell, trying to tell y'all niggas, man, you come to the northwest, fuck with me, fuck with me, especially and, if you want to hear some shit, see some shit, give you a little, give you little bits and pieces. Can't give you the whole thing because you got to wait for it. Right. It was and it was cool to hear some of these, you know, these battlers say that. You know, a lot of the ones who usually come out and the ones whose first time been out saying, like, this is probably the best crowd that they have ever rapped in front of. Or they always say Northwest is the shows the best love at all places. Because you see all these other places they go, people get booed and stuff like that. Even when people was doing bad, we don't ever, you don't ever hear nobody boo anybody from over here. We still give them their respect. And so... That just, that's just going to show more times that uh, we're going to have more events coming back because they like it out here. Definitely. Um, man, um, what this event did, it was it like I lately I haven't been doing uh, my Tokyo ish uh, interviews because I got an interview uh, segment that I call Tokyo ish where I bring battle rappers up. Uh, we go live. Sometimes we go we behind the scenes and we talk and I uh, and I ask I don't do these bullshit interviews where I get straight to bullshit like I actually highlight like how they started and everything just to inform the people. And you know, I've had people like uh I've had Murder Mook up here. I've had um yeah, Murder Mook has been on the platform. I've had Pat Stay, Chilla Jones, um, fuck. I've had so many like uh big like like mm -hmm. big uh battle rappers up here and I had and I it's like I just stopped doing it because I've been in the mix moving around, but now I'm about to get back in my bag, y'all. I'm about to get back in my Tokyo ish bag, so be ready. These a lot of these battle rappers that were up on uh that were actually here at this event, I'm uh, I might be getting them on too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them on as well to come talk they ish and uh we get to know who these battle rappers are outside of the characters as we know them because we know battle rappers like wrestling. Right, right, right. A lot of these guys that we think are mean and talk crazy and and go whatever they they they're hungry in the ring and they're monsters in the ring, but outside the ring, they uh they 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 normal they, people like, when not. And a lot of times, a lot of these battles, they're they battle each other, but you won't even know that they're best friends outside of the ring. Facts, B A, I'm in B more fam. Hey, salute, shit. 
We just was up with Rock. Go back and uh check uh check out uh check out the interview. We got I got Rock on the channel too. You feel me? Shout out to Word Sport Battlegrounds with Yo-Yo Escobar made it happen. And uh Smoke King, Smoke Royalty, they made that interview happen. But yeah, I got a shitload of interviews with big time people within the past year. Like, like the top of the top people. Shit, uh Arsenal has been on this platform. I got him on the talk yo ish. You feel me? Got a whole bunch of people that's on here, bro. I can't even remember all their names. But uh yeah, check out check out the content, man. It's a lot of fire content. And if you are new to this page, um in general, man, check out my YouTube channel, get your bars up media. It's a lot of historic moments. You feel me? We've had Dame Dash. We had uh we were interviewing Murder Mook one day, and uh Murder Mook was in the studio with Dame Dash, and Dame Dash came out. You feel me? Dame Dash came out and saluted real quick and hollered at us. Um, yeah, Swamp. We've had Swamp. We had Real Sick. Had my guy Fonz, uh, Jack Boy, Ryder. Like, you, you name it, bro. We've had a whole bunch of people on here, man. And, we, we you know, it is what right. it is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, with that being said, that's all I got, man. That's all I got for this uh born legacy northwest it's uh it's it's been a pleasure man uh chopping it up with uh uh with, with you today morgan and, and and fresh and smoke and capo everybody that came up man it's been fun right, right. It, was, it was a good one yeah now now i gotta wait until tomorrow where everybody see tomorrow northwest takeover every tuesday night 8 p.m uh pacific well if the game is on tomorrow it's gonna be 9 p.m pacific if the game come on tomorrow but um it's uh yeah it's gonna be very very interesting and everybody everybody's about to talk they shit you heard me and morgan's perspective wait till you hear the other people's perspective motherfuckers is, is gonna be in here arguing because like i said it's two one either way most of these battles were two one either way and a lot mm -hmm. of niggas is gonna be arguing tomorrow so if you went to that hey it's gonna be healthy it ain't gonna be no hating type shit it's gonna be healthy some some, <laughs> some, some good debating yeah, facts. He said I'm in Philly now. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to my people's in Philly. I'm gonna be in New York. Uh, I'm gonna be in New York next week. Well, I said next week. Uh in two days, I'm gonna be in New York for a week. And shit, I might try to get out to Philly because I, I heard Philly wasn't far away from New York. So I might be out there. Yeah, too. Sour close. Hell yeah. Very, very close. Yeah, hit that like button. Fronto, you still there? Fronto be rolling up. He be he be he be uh, he be making his little late night strolls, talking this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He been, he, he been muted for a while, so he might be, he might be doing some other stuff. Yeah, shit. It's uh it's <laughs> eleven p.m. on the West Coast, so where he at is one. He ain't on that Central Time, so he probably fell asleep. But oh yeah, so, uh, to, uh, Harlem Fresh. Make sure y'all go follow um, No Knockoffs Radio. No Knockoffs Radio. Um, Harlem Fresh has dope ass content. And he loves uh he has uh interviews with Royce the Five Nine and uh and 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 a lot of people in hip hop in general. He's not too much into the battle rap portion, but as far as healthy hip hop lyricism, he has some of the biggest names to ever spit on his channel as far as mm. interviews. hundred percent. And Morgan, man, you wanna hey Morgan, plug the people and tell them where you or where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, sneaker underscore geek 85. I got a battle rap page on TikTok. It's uh, uh, best battle rap bars 85. And then you can just, you know, I, I got a, a meme page on um, Facebook at Real Talk Memes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. My nigga be, uh, hey, he be, he be restoring. Like if you got some fucked up tennis shoes in rough shape, my nigga oh, yeah. restores the motherfucker <clears throat> and brings them back to life. Tell him, bro. I just had, uh, I actually just had a battler stop by. I don't, I don't know if he wants me to say anything, so I'm not going to say. But I had a, I had a battler stop by last night and dropped some shoes off. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm restoring, I, I'm restoring them for him, and I'm gonna send them back to where he lives at. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm networking. Facts, facts. Hey, hey, networking. I'm trying to tell you that's what we, that's what we do here. Hey. I know a lot of people like to hear that bullshit. A lot of people like to go and be like, yo, we want to hear all the bullshit. What's the negative shit that happened? We talk, don't get me wrong. We talk about it. If it's a headline, we, 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 we highlight it, but we don't talk about bullshit over here. We are really strictly about the culture here at Get Your Bars Up Media. 
and um, not just here, but on all the platforms that all, all my brothers out there, you feel me? Capology Facts, Harlem Fresh, Smoke Kings TV, uh, Yo Yo Escobar. You feel me? Shout out to my guy, Real Nicosi, Shanice, Snack King, Cole, Mr. BP. Like we 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 here in Keystone. Hey, salute to my Keystone, uh, my, my my guy Keystone. Prayers up to him. He going through some shit, but uh, yeah. I fuck. These are all my brothers, and if you want healthy content, that's definitely that's definitely for people that fucks with the culture and not on that bullshit. And you want to hear genuine perspective? Come to get your bars up. Period. Facts. Get your bars up. Facts. Before we go, I want to say I want I want to yell out Harlem again. Harlem, you still there? You gone? You sleep? Get your ass up, boy. Get your <laughs> bars up, Harlem. Get your bars up. <laughs> yeah, that nigga said. <laughs> At least he respected the platform and put and put his shit on, on mute. <laughs> but anyway. Right. Oh yeah, I wanted to say yeah. something. I, I mentioned shit. I mentioned this in Sky Tier. Tank the Demon versus Hypnosis. Yeah. I, I was I mentioned that that I think that would be man, they gotta get on it. That seeing Tank in person and knowing what Hip can do, that would yeah. be a fire battle. That would Check be a fire out my battle. Interview with Tink. To check out my interview with Tink and Stewie Newton on uh, what they were talking about and Tink talking about coming back to the Northwest. I need yeah, y'all to stop sleeping. I watched that. That was a goodie. Yeah, I need y'all to not stop sleeping. And uh, tomorrow, I, I want you to bring that up tomorrow when we talk on the Northwest Takeover, bro. I will. Sure I will. That because that's because, be because Tink, was, Tink was real specific about wanting to come back. But what yeah. He, yeah. But what he <laughs> said, he was like, hey, come get me now, like, type shit. Yeah. Yeah, yo, Oops was the same way. Jack Boy was the same way, you feel me? Everybody wants to come back to the Northwest. Why? Because we non-biased and we are in a beautiful city and, and, and right. we're about to battle rap life here. If y'all don't I know. Think, I think when they hear Washington State, they just think it's like a bunch of preppy people, a bunch of... That's when they came, they came out and they saw who was around, I, I know they was like, oh, okay, we feel at home. yeah. Aaron, you're right, bro. Uh, Tink and Jay were supp was supposed to happen in December, but it uh, it didn't uh, it didn't happen due to whatever reasons. But ever since then, but Jay wasn't on a level that he is now. <laughs> Jay on the level right now. Right, My nigga looking is. like a top ten battle rapper in the world right now. <laughs> well, like like Clip said, he just came out of nowhere. Yeah, facts. Like, we, everybody's always known about him, but like he came out like the way he is now is just like overnight success type thing. Facts. <laughs> I wish I, I man. Yeah. Hey, facts. But uh, yeah, uh, we are we are officially out. I know I keep rambling, but uh, peace and love to you all. Thank y'all for rocking with us this evening. Like I said, without y'all rocking with the platform, this platform wouldn't be at all. Wouldn't be, even be here. And what I'm gonna do. Is uh, I'm gonna cut this. Um, I'm gonna cut this. Uh, this particular live in half to where it's one. One is gonna be strictly for Born. Uh, for uh, for Born Legacy Northwest. The other for Max Out Two. If you didn't see us, our picks on Max Out Two. Uh, when this end, rewind back to the beginning because we've been on for two hours and twenty two minutes. But hey, hey, peace and love to you all, man. Like I said, man, we here Northwest Takeover tomorrow, uh, eight p.m. Uh, PST. So 10, 10 p.m. Central, 11 p.m. Eastern. If you rock with the platform, your ass going to stay up and watch it. But anyways, Thanks. get your motherfucking bars up. I'll hold this motherfucking L. Morgan, appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir, always. Not for the money I ain't have, I was with a bunch of killers Out on these streets, saw the real ones fill us The jealous ones envy, the fake ones hate I was starving with my bros, so we had to get a plate we Had to break down haters, cause they all just sit and wait From a city where it's cold, and the sky precipitates hate Never late to a fight, so I Yes, sir
took off running, he losing calories. This is here, get this crystal clear. Whenever we appear, they disappear. Whenever we leave, that's when they reappear. The real only reason they take a shot is cause we appear. Fuck a dance, send them all the way up and leave them there. They say more, they say that when that moment come, you'll know you can feel it. <laughs> I feel it now. Hey, I'm standing at the ends of reality. Every thought inside my head, it comes with finality. I'm still going up to find gravity Had to step back and revamp my whole strategy You ain't no match for me even when I'm just practicing I'm ready for the world and ain't no need you even asking me yeah, I'm working on a masterpiece, no limit I'm really starting to feel like masterpiece No limit, no gimmick to Salute, salute, salute. Uh, ah, <laughs> tell these niggas. Uh, we got that North Force Media Talk for him. Yo, DA, get your bars up, media. Salute, salute, salute. Ah! The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars Up Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, Holy Cell TV, that is.